Hi Nancy, hi Raymond. So I wanted to start taking a picture of the outside first so you could see what was surrounding it. I know it's kind of hard trying to figure out what the side road is. This house is on the corner. So I'm gonna just do a complete 180 here so you can see. So that's the road in the community. This is the side road coming into the community. Which is, a, it's a 25, Thank you. Actually, I think it's less than that. I think it's about 10 or 15 mile per hour road. This main road that backs up behind the property, I'm going to show you more. That's the county road that I was talking to you about. That's 561. You'll see it more out the back, but it is not a, um, a high volumed highway that you would think of. Um, it's one lane on each side, under 40 miles per hour. Right behind here across the street is Lake, Mini, Lake Minnehaha. Um, there are a few houses that are waterfront back here, but this community is in front of the lake. So you have that one road that you're going to see when I go into the backyard. All right, I'm going to go into the house now. So here is the side entrance access to the garage. I'm going to walk into the front entry here. So you got a little bit of a covered porch. So if you wanted to put chairs or whatnot out here, you could. So here's your your circular drive right here so plenty of out parking if you have company over don't have to worry about backing up into the street so here is your front sitting area a little bit different on homes in the 90s you're going to see more of a, a segmented floor plan so you're going to have more definition of room. Here would be your, your formal dining room that is going to be right off of the kitchen. Directly in front of you is the pool. I'll take you there last because I want to go to the room. So you're going to have a split floor plan. So on the left is going to be the kitchen and the master bedroom and the additional bedrooms are to the right here. So we'll start over here give you more of a, a flow of how the floor plan works. So back here, if you go down the hallway, you could have your office area. So pretty private if you're doing an office or sitting area. This is down a long hallway. Oh, you wanted to see closets, so let me pull open closets too so you can see. So if you're looking at it as a spare room or an office, it is slightly walk-in, but you could put an organizer in there and get a ton more space if you needed it. Hopefully I don't get you too dizzy with walking here. So again, we're going down the hallway. I'm gonna open up, see what this is. It's like an Easter egg hunt when you come in the houses. Oh, so this is your AC handler. I'll just check that one. I know they said it was seven years old, but it looks to be maintained pretty good. It has your safety valve over here. So if it ever backs up, it'll shut off the AC and it won't overflow on your carpet. So that's good. That's what the newer ones have. So nice to see there. The plank flooring I saw. It's a little bit lighter in person, which I actually like. Here is One of the bedrooms. So you get a nice view of the pool and the patio from this room. Let's see if we got, I think I see a view of the lake from here. So this is one of the views from the bedroom. So you can see we're kind of on a hill and those houses, they're not part of the neighborhood, but those are your lakefront houses. So you kind of have more of a view over a hill. It's not like you're going to walk out the backyard and see the lake. But it's really pretty. All right, let's go and see the bathroom in here. So you could consider this a, a master bedroom. Let's go look at the closets first. So I'm 
me see if I can find the lights. Oh, not the light. I never find the lights. Oh, here it is. So you got a walk-in closet, good space. Let me shut that off. Let's see what that's most likely his her closet. <laughs> Okay, and for the second closet, not as big as you would expect, because the her closet is always more. <laughs> but again, if you could put an organizer in here and get like an additional row right in the bottom here. Very nice shower. A separate bathroom in there. Hello. Here's your sink. Now we can walk out. And go over to the kitchen area. So I'll take you just like as if you're walking out of your bedroom. See, uh, I've done quite a bit of showings. This doesn't surprise me because the house is in really, really good shape here. This would be another uh, living area here with your fireplace. Here's the kitchen. Laundry room is directly behind. And here's another, a split hallway with your additional bedrooms. It's a good size. They have, this looks to be about like queen size bedroom furniture in here. Let's take a look at the closet in here. And this would be on the side of the house that faces the, the entrance of the community. That's what this back road is here that I'm showing you. Another closet space in here. And they have what's called a Jack and Jill bathroom in here. So this adjoins the other bedroom as well. Sorry for my sniffling. My allergies are killing me today. And this was updated counter work as well. Nice tile on the bathroom. And your toilet area is just right behind the door here. There's a linen closet in here as well. And then your additional bedroom. So that office area is what they're considering the fourth bedroom in this house. And I'll take a look at this closet space here for you.